Usually when we speak of or when riders speak of working their horses or training their horses, when what they define as work is physical labor, basically. So they think the work which is tiring is like the physical effort the horse gives, for example, during riding. Um, something like horse has to trot at least for 20 minutes, canter 10 minutes, whatever. You get the picture. A very important aspect about learning, which is often Oh, not about learning, about working, <laughs> um, which is often overlooked, which I would like to point out, is the mental work horses have to do when they are interacting with humans. So basically when, for example, we are riding or as well when everything else we're doing with horses, the horses constantly have to be concentrated and focused on our cues and signs and like get them, then interpret them, figure out their meaning, yeah, <laughs> and so on. So it is a constant mental effort they have to give in basically translating humans for them and what is asked of them. At the same time, we could say, <laughs> Basically, they have to participate and comply to what we decide at that moment, what we want to do with them. While it might be that, while it might be that in those moments, they have complete different needs. So, not the microphone. <laughs> so, especially when we are doing something new with horses, when we introduce something new, um, it is very energy consuming for the horse to really figure out what is asked of them, to, what, what is the new meaning of this thing, what is it to find the right answer of our demands. So this is something really not to forget about, that mental work is highly energy consuming. A little fun fact about energy consumption while learning our brains per day our brains use and consume about a hundred times more energy than your mobile phone needs on a daily basis so it's quite a lot so it's worth it to think about next time you work and train your horse to really think about what mental work the horse has to do as well and then maybe adapt your working times your your the length of your sessions um, especially when you're introducing new things and learning something new is involved excuse me And another aspect of training, which I would like to point out here, is when we start to change something about the physical posture and the physical position the horse is in while training. Because even slight changes of the position do change the whole body. So that means sometimes we think, for example, a little higher in the pole or something, would just be the neck changing, it's actually the whole body changing what it's doing. If we understand the concept of biotensegrity and how tension forces are happening everywhere at the same time and changing everywhere because it's a balance, we get that idea better. And um, so when you change a little bit the position in which you are doing an already known exercise for your horse, it is excessively more exhausting for the horse. I'll give you an example in the human world. If you've done 50 push-ups, if you're capable of doing 50 push-ups, you're better than me, <laughs> and you're kind of doing the push-ups hanging a little bit between your shoulders. That's how you did it and no one corrected it, let's assume. And then someone comes and says, oh, actually it's meant to be that you carry your torso in the middle, that you keep like your shoulder blades apart and so on, and then asks you to do push-ups. 
you will not be capable of doing half of the amount of what we were capable of doing in the other position. So when we train horses, we really need to change positions which we demand and as well like flexion of hind quads. Everything we ask has to be changed gradually, that you really adapt to what the horse is capable of doing, that you really observe your horse well, how much energy does it have to have like all this work it's doing, mental work, physical work and so on. And especially when you introduce new movements, really don't ask a lot of repetitions. Keep it short, one, two, three repetitions until it's understood and then give them a break because it's a lot more than only the physical work the horse has to do.